Hey guys, hope you're having a good day. I'm not able to be here today because I've got a professional development on equitable grading. Hopefully we can make a little bit more meaning out of uh, what exactly is an A versus B, etc. So that's what I'm off doing today. But I'll see you guys on Thursday. Other than that, today in government class, thanks goes out to Cortland and Kurt for holding it down as far as being up at the desk, helping out the sub. And other than that, please realize today, as you just went over, we're going to be taking a look at principles of democracy and inherent competition among democratic values, specifically related to what goes on in your schools on a daily basis. So um, first thing we're going to be doing today is taking a look at a short video, gets onto those limitations of freedom of speech, specifically in schools and on college campuses. Even if you're not going to be in college next year, I think it's interesting and valuable for you guys to kind of see what those boundaries are. Um, so hopefully Cortland and Kurt can help us out with that. Um, and then you're going to be taking a look at two different topics. So based on the article that's linked in the directions on part two, you're going to be taking a look at any two of these art of these topics. We've got Pledge of Allegiance. Newspapers and yearbooks, cyber speech and cyberbullying, speaking out in school, books, aka banned books, and dress code, clothing, and uniforms. So you can choose any two topics. You can work with a partner if you'd like, or you can work individually, your choice, to be able to go through and uh, research a little bit as far as specific court case precedents related to those topics. Um, so it does have some court cases that are in the linked assignment. So that was the intent was to be able to use those. But if you want to go off and do other court cases, that's OK, too. Um, and you just go through and say, what is the court case? What date was it from as far as the decision? What pre precedent did this case set, a.k.a. Um, from now on because of that court case? What is the kind of the rule or the law in relation to that topic? Um, and then one other court case similar to that. So for each topic, you do two court cases and go ahead and choose two topics. Okay. All right. So that's it for today. We will be talking about it at the beginning of class on Thursday. So make sure you've got that ready to go. And other than that, uh, thanks for helping out guys today. And I will be seeing you on Thursday. Thanks guys.